everybody, I'm Nick, and in this video, I want to talk about which one of these should you use? If you have a single line if statement, what should you do? How should you code it? Should you have it like this without curly braces? Should you have it like this in a single line? Should you use curly braces with the opening here? Or should you use this version instead? There's been a lot of chatter about this lately, and this was actually supposed to be a code cop video where I go through this piece of advice that I found online where it says, don't use this, use this, or don't use this, use this. But then recently there was a Reddit post that was also talking about this topic, which got extremely popular. It got 300 comments and there's tons of opinions here. So in this video, I want to see all the opinions. We're going to give you my own opinion too. And let's see also in the comments down below which one you prefer. Write it down and let me know and let everyone else know which one are you using and why. Explain your logic behind the choice. If you like that of content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe for more training. Check out my courses on dometrain.com. Okay, so let's start by the thing that was supposed to be the code cop video first. So you have the single line versus multi-line if statement. Even if you have a single check, should you do this or should you do this? So nothing about curly brackets yet, just should you use this or this? And the text accompanying the advice was single versus multi-line. Every time I encounter single line statements in my code reviews, my immediate reaction is a hard pass. That's why multi-line coding isn't just prefer, it's the only way to go if you want my sign-off. Basically, don't do this do this, have it as a multi-line. Let's see why. Each statement has its own line, making it self-explanatory and easier to follow. There's some truth to that, I think. But with breakpoints on individual lines, tracking down bugs become less of a daunting task. I think that largely depends on the ID you're using. A writer makes it very easy to understand exactly what's going on, but I digress. Anticipates the need for adding more logic without rewriting existing structures. I don't quite understand this. It doesn't really make sense. Maybe ChatGPT wrote it. We're not coding in isolation. Multi-line code is considered code. It says, I care about the next developer who reads this. And in a world of uh, collaborate projects, that's a golden rule. That's not just about preference, it's about professional standards. Multi-line code is a wallmark of a developer who values clarity and maintainability. And there's certainly some truth to that. However, I want to go beyond that because I think both of these approaches are really, really bad in my opinion. And I will explain why. And I will explain why by going to the next point, which has to do with the Reddit post I just showed you. Now, very quickly, before I move on, I want to remind you that it is Dome Train's first birthday, and we're celebrating it with a discount that is at the level that we usually do on Black Friday, so as good as it possibly gets. Until the 30th of April, you can use discount code BIRTHDAY40 to get 40% off any course, BIRTHDAY20 to get 20% off the already discounted bundles we have, and you can use birthday 15 to get 15% off your first year of Dome Train Pro. The annual subscription that gives you access to all of our courses. Do not miss this opportunity. Invest in your future now. Back to the video. So which one do you use? Do you have the curly bracket here after the each statement when you have a single small if statement? Or do you do it like this where you have the curly bracket opening in the next line and then here. Again, that's up to personal preference. However, Microsoft tells you to use one of the two. Let's go to the ID and see all the options. So what I have here is that same example. And I have if success returns true, if success, same line true, if success bracket here true, and if success a new line and everything is on its own line. Now, spoiler alert, the one Microsoft wants you to use is this one, and that's the one they're using. And there's a few analyzers about this. For example, here we have ID0011, which says add braces. So if you have statements like this, or this one actually, uh, then add braces. And we can actually see that here, if I go here and I say uh, refactor this, and then use the refactorings available, add braces is one of them, and it will automatically format it to a multi-line version as well. So there's two aspects here, because you can just add braces and have it be like this. That's another option, uh, but then it's also very confusing, maybe less confusing than this version for some people, uh, but that's also an option. And then you also have this in code analysis, which is C sharp new line before open brace. So the option concerns whether an open brace should be placed in the same line as the preceding code. And if you use refactoring, uh, you're going to see this. So if you do it for everything, then you're going to be sort of forced to have it like this. 
Uh, if you choose none, then it's like this. There's other analysis and guideline posts about this, but generally Microsoft says do this. And we can see that on Reddit as well, where the top comment says Microsoft guidelines says two. If I happen to stumble into a project using one, which is this version over here, I'll use one. Consistency is more important than personal preference. And I generally agree with this comment. However, there's another very interesting comment, which I've actually seen being applied in my previous job when we hired some new senior engineers, which is Microsoft Guidelines says to, if I happen to stumble across into a project using one, I'll apply a formatter to the whole solution and push a PR to fix the horror. Consistency is more important than their preference. I've seen this happen. I've seen senior engineers join companies and just do that and apply their own formatting. Don't do this. In general, this comment encapsulates my opinion on the matter. Now, do I prefer to? Yes. And it's very funny that Go actually has a compiler error if you try to do this, which is the Microsoft way, to remove any ambiguity about which one you should be using. They say this is the one that we allow. If you don't like it, well, you can't do anything about it. Your code won't compile. Now, there's other opinions, which I also agree with, which is two, I wasn't raised in the barn. Very, very valid comment. And also another one, which also applies to me, is I start with Java and used one, but I switched to two. As far as I know, it is by convention in C Sharp. So Java is more likely to look like this, uh, while C Sharp is more likely to look like this. Now, why choose one over the other? Please, if you have a preference, Pause the video now and type why you choose one over the other. But I'll tell you why. So first and foremost, I think this is terrible. And the reason why it's terrible is because it can lead to situations like this, where you have stacked requests and you don't know that the scope is different because you have no braces to keep you in a specific scope, which is also the exact same reason why generally I don't use using var stream equals new memory stream but I instead use this version with the parentheses because I want to be explicit about the scope because there's a disposal aspect to this that I really want to have my hands on and be very careful with how far it can go and where it can get disposed. Implicit scopes are fine, but I generally prefer being explicit with my code because it reduces cognitive load and it's easier to understand what's going on without having to assume much. Then this just doesn't read nice to me, especially with complicated if statements. It can look very weird and yeah, you can say that the scope here is explicit, but what if you have this, for example? It's the same problem as before, just doesn't look nice in my opinion. Then for the other two, I think it's just a matter of what we're used to. You know, we're used to having I in front of interfaces in C Sharp. And in the same way we do that, then in the same way you use the second convention over the first one. I don't necessarily think one reads better than the other. You can write perfectly clean C Sharp code or Java code or any other language. Like I said, Go uses this as its default and no one has an issue with it. So we're kind of more used to this version and we just trained our eyes to seek for it and just consistently use it more than anything else. In general, beyond the is just how I'm used to doing things, I do prefer this one because it's like one thing at a time, while having it like this is kind of two things because you have your if statement and you open the condition, which you can say it's minor enough, but I think there's just something to this version which makes it maybe a bit longer, but very, very explicit. But now I wonder from you, which one do you prefer and why? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, keep coding.